South China Morning Post, 13 December 2022, days after combined U.S.-Indian War Games, Indian and Chinese troops engaged in combat along a disputed border. To keep India from becoming a rival, China is currently engaged in an all-out war on the Indian subcontinent, rescuing minor countries and funding terrorism in India. According to several sources in the country's defense and security establishment, over 20 Indian soldiers and a significantly higher number on the Chinese side were lightly hurt during the troops' clashes in the susceptible Taong region of India's Arunachal Pradesh state on Monday. The People's Liberation Army troops contacted the line of actual control in Taong area on December 9, according to a statement from the Indian Army. According to the statement, the Indian troops engaged in the confrontation and responded firmly and resolutely, which lead to minor injuries to few individuals from both sides. The countries then had a commander-level flag meeting to establish peace, according to the statement. According to reports, 600 Chinese soldiers and at least three Indian army units were present during the battles. The Chinese Foreign Ministry, the Chinese Embassy in New Delhi, and the Chinese Embassy in Washington did not immediately answer an inquiry for comment. The U.S. State Department has also made no comments regarding the event on Friday. The incident took place only a few days after China criticized U.S. and Indian joint military drills that were taking place within 100 kilometers 60 miles, of its disputed border with India. Beijing claimed that the most recent operation broke two boundary accords that China and India signed in 1993 and 1996. The U.S. charged the affairs in India, Elizabeth Jones, responded by saying the combined military drills were none of their, China's, business. Following the 1962 Indochina War, the 3,200 km de facto border between the two Asian superpowers was established as the line of actual control. Both sides' troops have followed established procedures to refrain from using weapons. According to the Indian Army, the two nations have patrolled the region up to their claim lines since 2006. However, since the two sides got into deadly fist battles in the Galway Valley of the Ladakh region close to the Tibet zone controlled by China, tensions in the area have risen sharply. At least 20 Indian and four Chinese soldiers perished in June 2020. General Manoj Panda, the head of the Indian Army, stated last month that the situation was steady but unpredictable. He charged that despite agreeing to do so in September, China has failed to reduce its forces at the LAC. Chinese officials allegedly cautioned U.S. officials to not interfere with China's relations with India throughout the standoff, according to a U.S. Defense Department report to Congress that was made public on November 30. According to the research, the PRC wishes to prevent border tensions from leading India to collaborate more closely with the United States. India has allied itself more closely with Washington and its allies as China's military and economic power has increased, despite the country's long-standing suspicion of the U.S. India is a member of the U.S., Japan, Australia, and the U.S. together form the Quadrilateral Security Dialogue. The Quad, established in 2004 but went dormant, was revived in 2017 by then U.S. President Donald Trump as a coalition of democracies against an autocratic China. Part of President Joe Biden's Indo-Pacific policy includes promoting the alliance. Nevertheless, Sushant Singh of the Center for Policy Research in New Delhi claimed that India had so far avoided any security-centric step with the Quad that could upset Beijing although concerns from its partners over timid Indian policy are certain to gain louder. China has a complete territorial claim over Arunachal Pradesh, located at the easternmost point of India. The state is home to the Taong Monastery, where the sixth Dalai Lama was born in 1683 and has historical ties to Tibet, which China currently occupies. Chinese sensitivities regarding Taong will deepen as doubts about the succession of the present Dalai Lama, who is 87 years old, surface, 
and this is especially true when coupled with its internal security issues in Tibet, said Singh. It is expected to become a larger priority for China in the coming years.